Hey again, everybody. It's Gene again from our little funny farm. Just a quick note to let you know what's been going on around the funny farm. Not a lot. Beautiful day here in Ohio. Well, not really. It's rained all day. I hate rain. But we need it. It's been dry. I know I think we went like 20-something uh, days. No rain at all. That was okay. Kind of, sort of. It did uh, wait till the farm, a lot of the farmers got most of their corn off the, off the field and their soybeans. Yeah, I was just on my way into our church. Um, our church, we were growing like crazy. I mean, it's growing. We've gone to two morning services because the uh, normal service times before our church was packed out. I mean, there was not a parking spot to be found outside anywhere. There are people parking in the grass and on the, on the, on the, in the driving lanes, on the edges. So our pastor wisely decided we needed to go to two services. It's been a big challenge for everybody to kind of get used to it, but we're coming around. It's, it's, it's a growing process. We'll be doing that for a while until we get a new building built. And we're in the process of working on that right now. But I'm on my way into the church right now because one of the ladies in the church, she helps out getting snacks ready for in between services. The people that have to stay for both services in the morning, worship team, security team, ushers, things like that. So she wanted me to bring in some eggs we're going to do hard-boiled eggs for some of the people in between services. So, I've got chickens. I've got eggs. So, I told her last Saturday, or last Sunday morning. If you think about it on Saturday, text me or send me a message on Facebook or something. Just to remind me, because I will forget. And I did forget. So, this afternoon, she did send me a message on Facebook to remind me. So that's where I'm at. I'm on my way in now with a couple of dozen eggs to take in. Let them use those for hard-boiled eggs for this week and probably enough for next week also. The egg production is starting to go down, of course. Always does this time of year because it's starting to get cold. Rainy season is going to start coming around again. Which is kind of good for the rain. With the rain, it's going to help me get the uh, garden cleared out, get everything ready to start building raised beds. Because that's all I'm building this winter long, all winter long, raised beds. After last year's debacle with almost everything drowning except everything in the raised beds, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to be building some raised beds here pretty soon for our strawberries. I don't think I go. I don't need to go as deep for strawberries as I would for our regular vegetables or anything. So I'm just going to go probably one two by eight deep raised bed for the strawberry patches. I'm going to try to dig up our raspberries and replant them. Maybe put up some T posts and some, uh, some cattle panels and let the uh, Put the raspberries grow on those. Maybe get some blackberry bushes, thornless blackberries. Put them in, kind of intermingle them in with the raspberries. I love blackberries. Kind of segue to that. When I was a kid, I grew up in East Tennessee. My mom and I would go down to the railroad tracks, which is only about two blocks from where I lived. We'd walk the railroad tracks, and along the railroad tracks, I mean, it was thick with blackberries. Thick. I mean, those things, they were as big as my thumb sometimes. They were huge. We could get all kinds of them. All we could get, too. Because they were growing wild. So finally, one year, I told her, so maybe we should just plant a couple of blackberries, take the whole berry, and plant it outside our house and build a trellis up. That's what we did. We didn't have to walk the railroad tracks anymore. We had all the blackberries we ever needed. So that's why I'm kind of wanting to grow blackberries up here. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll grow pretty good up here. Weather's somewhat similar. A little bit cooler in the summer or in the winter time. 
But uh, hope everybody's been having a good week. I've had a good week. Everybody's healing up now. I tested positive for strep throat earlier in the week. I think everybody in the house had strep throat at some point this week and last week. So, uh, everybody uh, have a good week. If you like the videos, hit the like button. Give me that big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and uh, that notification bell. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. See you later on the funny farm. Bye.